The Italian Air Force, they attacked the ports, they attacked the cities, they attacked the towns. And worse was soon to come, in the form of the German Luftwaffe. The Luftwaffe first arrived off Malta in January 1941, when they attacked the British aircraft carrier HMS Illustrious, which was protecting supply convoys en route to Malta. It's attacked repeatedly, and they managed to drop five bombs on it and take out the rudder, but yet it still uses its engines to steer its way into port. And it's kind of a miracle, frankly, that the Illustrious is still going. The ship limped its way into the Grand Harbor, but the Axis powers were determined to finish off what they started and completely sink it. Now, the Germans and the Italians, they look at this aircraft carrier and they go, that's a big prize. We want to put that right at the bottom of the harbor because that represents a real threat. As maintenance crews worked around the clock to repair the ship in the Grand Harbor, the Luftwaffe closed in for the kill. With only a few Allied fighter planes on Malta, anti-aircraft guns were the island's main defense against the might of the Luftwaffe. We're standing on the site of a light anti-aircraft gun, part of many dotted around the harbor area. This was a kind of defensive field around the harbor through which the German uh, pilots would dive to attack targets within this harbor complex. Malta's defenders did what they could to repel the Luftwaffe, but were ultimately overpowered. Despite the smoke screens and the intensive anti-aircraft fire, many German planes got through and bombed not only the illustrious, but the surrounding areas. The urban centers around the illustrious were all but flattened. For those on the ground facing this barrage, the Stuka was as much a psychological weapon as it was a physical one. It was fixed with uh, what were called Jericho sirens underneath its wings that would scream as the Stuka went into a dive going at 300 miles per hour. So it would have been absolutely terrifying for the civilians below. The ferocity and intensity of the illustrious attack left a massive psychological scar on the local inhabitants. The death and destruction caused by this ferocious Luftwaffe attack left Malta shaken. But it was just a small taste of what Malta would have to endure in the months to come.